Welcome to First Minister's Questions Review Show from uh, Three Men in a Blog. Uh, today's regular contributors are Norrie Stewart, Alex Grant, Phil Attridge and myself Stuart Lockhead. And today was a slightly... It, First Minister's Question started with a pause because of the, the death today of a, a member, Brian Adam, who was much loved and uh, my condolences too go to his family. Um, let's start with Norrie, who's always got a strong opinion about something. Overall view of the, today's FMQs? Um, I thought the one started well, um, but she's still doing this script reading thing. She kind of caved in and salmoned Trenster. You know, a good day full of more dreams, he just gives her a severe kick in. Um, nothing surprising came out of it. NHS mentioned. You know, much of a much less. A lot of it about the uh, Osborne light. Look, sorry, didn't mean that. The Osborne position on the currency. Um, Basically, the Treasury, well, uh, London Treasury report. Um, most, most of which, if you're going to be sensible about it, can be blown out of the water. Mm -hmm. But she did all right. Um, yeah. It was all kind of predictable. I had to say that um, Duncan Hothersfield, you can name check again, Duncan, uh, was engaged in a Twitter discussion earlier this week, and it was about uh, how Alex Hammond uh, waffles basically at the FMQs. And as I pointed out to um, Duncan, well, if um, Joanne would just ask a question, well, if he waffles, what does she do? Yeah. You know, if, he, if she would just ask a question instead of making speeches, then he could only answer, it would be very obvious if he didn't answer the question. I'm sorry, if he's suggesting that Salmon wa wa waffles more than Lamont, he wants to watch Newsnight occasionally. She made a complete dog's dinner. Car crash. That's true. Right. Oh, I think, I think that's that's the entire right. last weekend, Labour What do you think of Trident? O M L. Uh, 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 yeah. She even got torn apart in the, at, at, at Monday morning at uh, Good Morning Scotland by uh, that Brian Miller. Yeah, that, that was, was even worse. Brian Miller. They're not Miller. Oh. Miller. Sorry, she's not good as... David Miller. David Miller, David Miller, David yeah. Miller yeah. Smooth voiced man. Oh. Alex, overall impression then? Um, infestation of squirrels. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that was good one. I should have had that one ready. I'm not quite yeah. sure what it means. No, well, I think I know what it means. It's a... Uh, it's a fairly poor spontaneous response because she doesn't do spontaneous, mm. um, and it's a it's a what you were just talking about. It's are you waffling again? You come up with a load of bollocks. Mm. Uh, I think um, this subject is the is the toughest subject for for the Scottish government, the SNP, to deal with. I, I, I the don't economy. Think, yeah, yeah. The well, the currency. The, the, the economy, I think, actually, the, the position in that context is getting stronger, particularly with that report that said for the last 30 years Scotland's been in surplus. They need to build on that because I don't think the guy on the Leith Omnibus knows enough about no, that. And there's that, a lot yeah. more communication needs to be done about that. Um, dealing with the, uh, the currency, I think, is the weakest link. I mean, saying we're going to keep the Queen and we're going to keep this and we're going to keep you on thing and other for the sake of continuity and not rocking the boat, because we know most people are conservative with a small C and they're fear of a change. And this is what the, uh, management of change is the biggest single issue in the yes uh, uh, referendum, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and this is the biggest single uh, difficulty that the SNP Scottish Government have got. For, for example, I actually think Ruth Davidson, for the first time, mm. I think if, when it comes to scoring, I'll give her as good a score as Salmon today because she actually had a point to make today that it was very difficult for him, uh, not impossible, but very difficult for him to respond to. Um, Mrs. Squirrel, I'm not too bothered about. I think he dealt with her reason reasonably well. Um, but the economy, stupid, is is what it's going to be all about when it comes to voting. And they need to really work on this point that says Scotland's economy is strong as a consequence of it being strong. Sterling without it is actually a problem. So. And, and the fact, he, he did point out, and he was quite right to point out, the fact that George Osborne and, and, and Alexander, when asked specifically, Will you, are you saying you're going to reject Scotland from a currency union? They know they can't say yes because it's cobblers, but they need more people to come out like David Blanchflower 
and uh, other Joseph heavy, Stiglitz. Joseph Stiglitz, other heavy. I know. I know they've got set a couple of Nobel laureates, etc., on their on their economics commission. But they need uh, they need to keep bringing people out to shove in front of the camera as much as possible to say that a currency union is a no brainer, and and there is no way that Westminster can afford to reject that. It makes total sense. Um, but, but, but before that, the day after a yes vote, we will still be using the pound. We will be then in a, in, a, in a you know period of flux. Whatever the flux says, yeah, change. You, you, you and I have a different point of view. I mean, I, I don't think Patrick Harvey did us any favours no, on the yes side today by asking about a single currency. I mean, Salmon's position has to be, we'll share the pound, we'll share the pound, we'll share the pound. The day after a yes vote, we will be sharing the pound. Yeah, that's 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 right. he, he can walk out the first day of negotiations and say, George Osborne is asking us to give up far too much. We therefore are going for our own currency. More than that, Murray, the day after the yes vote, we can say, well, look at the state of the UK economy. We are going to consider using our own currency because it would be the be for the benefit of all pensioners and by everybody in Scotland. But politically, by just essentially ignoring the possibility as a realistic po po um, possibility if he walks out after a yes vote and says no we're going for our own currency it's huge huge advantage for him he gets to do what osborne will do if there is a, a sterling zone everything that goes wrong south of the border will be blamed on scotland well, the other way around. How, 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 can I, how can a sound economic Scotland control the crazy economic policies but, of London? I mean, my, my the discipline will be in no, Scotland, not in London. I have no problem with a single currency. But politically, he cannot go there. He cannot well, go there. I disagree with you there. Yes. Right, Phil, have an overall view. We've had nothing from Phil yet. I mean, slippery and untrustworthy. I thought that was a good start for Joanne about. Um, George Osborne. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, she's got a kicking over, over that. From oh, and in an alliance of well, then she's like going on about, oh, you know, like, well, this whole idea that we were going with, when Simon said, we were going with, you know, the no debt. Um, she automatically, oh, no debt, a default, like Greece. Greece hasn't defaulted. So, again, it's a general lack of knowledge about what's going on around her. Obviously, you, don't understand basic well, accounts. Well, you... Uh, well, she, doesn't, she doesn't seem to have a memory. No, she doesn't seem to have that I don't capacity think that, I don't think that's true. It's a good hit. Because this is like a soundbite. You know, you'll be like Greece. She doesn't, it doesn't have to be sensible. She well, just that's true. It. No, 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 no. But she's saying yeah. defaulting like Greece. I know, but Sorry, yeah, I would have said that. Yeah, yeah, but that's... You're saying you would default on the debt just like Greece. It was a very smart response, actually. I don't agree with you, Phil. That, that was a soundbite. She's very bad at soundbite. Oh yeah, well, on it. some people I might have taken as a sound part, but I'm sorry from her, um, having a look at her, and she, she couldn't even give her condolences without reading a blasted script. Um, yeah, you know, I, uh, I mean, I, I'd say it was more inaccuracy and stupidity. So from so, somebody else, I would say, yeah, well, that was a good soundbite, but it definitely wasn't a good, because I didn't believe it, and you have to believe it. Um, and again, yeah, when he, well, he did. He, he trounced her, um, and it, she's getting worse with the script. So irrespective of what Sandman is saying, she's going to come back with the same script. I mean, why doesn't he really screw her up and actually agree with her? What's she got to do then? She's going to sit there like a complete donut. Well, um, she's going to have nothing to say apart yeah. from what she did on Newsnight, which is still, um, um, yeah. um, um, I don't know. Then you had Ruth Davis, and, oh, God, I hate how to say this, you know, for a Tory, but, yeah, good... Yeah, good question, no, and, and well, really well, irritating, well, really irritating. It's a scaremongering question. People, what people will worry about their money, pensions. Oh, fine, yeah, but there's yeah. no answer. Again, Saving. no answer. And he doesn't do himself, he does himself a disservice with the no answer. And that's where I don't quite agree. I see where you were going with Patrick Harvey. It would have been better if he hadn't asked that question. But the whole point is, he did. So you don't completely just blanket. He could have, as long as he just mentioned it, you know, in a kind of anodyne way and then, Dismissed it. I don't um, think. I but don't he just, think he he just liked blanked it. it. Um, I don't think he liked it. He said, "We've had our fiscal commission. We go with their conclusion, which is Sterling's on. Didn't blank it. Now he, was, it, he, he cannot ever say yes or no to that question. But bearing in mind, it's one of those situations. There's possibly up to a third of the people who likely to vote yes that would probably say, let's have our own currency.'" Yeah, it's one of those, it's certainly talked 
all day, yeah. every day on, on social networking. Yeah, yeah. but that third are fairly well informed compared to the rest of the world. Yeah, right. But there's also another which I thought was quite good, which is um, one of the Labour's rising young stars, um, Jenny, Mara. Jenny Mara, asking the question, and then it's that whole way. Oh, yeah, well, it's it's not like conspiracy theory, right? It's, it's sitting there. That, yeah, well, what happened to Sue Blackwood is just ridiculous. But the Scottish system, I think, is robust enough well, I'm sorry. to actually Can sort you, that out. Phil, before you go on, I'm going to ask you to explain to the viewers and listeners what you're talking about, because I don't know what the issue is. What happened? Well, the, the... You see, this is the problem. You know what it's about, I don't. Yeah. The viewers and listeners don't. No, they won't. Yeah. Well, Sue Black had given... Um, she's a forensic pathologist, and her, her evidence was dismissed by, by the sheriff or by, by the judge. Um, as so what, untrustworthy so and everything else. Time. No, really? not really, because um, she knew what she was talking about, and the judge obviously didn't. The judge then didn't. Um, sh she had said something about um, looking at a body of a child that this was such and such. That all the judge had to say was, "You don't have to take that." She's not competent for that. The judge didn't do his direction very well. Phil, well, I don't even know what this is about. Look, it's irrelevant. Irrelevant. Okay. So let's, let's, let's get something straight here. That Jenny Mara asked the question, which was totally irrelevant. If Jenny Ma Mara actually wanted to have a hit on Salmon, she should have said, well then, smart ass, um, what's happened to your unique Scottish response to, to Levison now that you said you're going to row in behind, <laughs> behind London and have a UK solution? Yeah. That would have been a hit that people would have understood. Mm -hmm. This was a hit. Nobody on the Leith Omnibus knows anything about Mrs. Black or any other thing. But it so, wasn't about that. It was actually about well, it's just, well let's just do what they do in England. It was no, another no, that, no, that's no right. thing. That's right. That it was, was another that, no thing. That was the only English. That, that was the only why don't you why don't you do, do it in the English, English society of that fit umpteen people up over decades. And, and he didn't answer it. No, he didn't answer it again, no. He what about the fact that uh, nobody's mentioned the, the ghost? Why? Yeah, the ghost wasn't hey. the ghost of William Rennie. Well, he's, not, he's not entitled to a question every Well, week, um, he's in a nursery. No, he, he's the ghost I'm of William Rennie. I'm very scared because you know, I have no idea what's happening to two year olds this week. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> The whole thing really is that you know this this currency question is extremely. There's a real catch twenty two in it. If you say the best solution for Scotland is to maintain the currency, it means that anything else is second best. So if you actually suggest there is a plan B, or you might have to be, you might have to consider anything else. It is inevitably a weakness because it says Scotland. Our thesis is Scotland's going to be better off doing its own thing, but actually we should stay in a... a, a no, I understand the economic... No, no, I, 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 see, I, see, I disagree with you entirely on the, on the premise. It doesn't look like weakness to me to have a plan B. It looks like strength, no, because well, you don't, don't know what the economy is going to be like right. in a year and a half. I don't, well, I don't care what it looks like to you, because you're informed. It's the people who aren't informed, who aren't decided, that we need to persuade to vote yes. Yeah, but I think we're a at plan B undermines the credibility. No. It's not like an independent score. It's cash It doesn't matter, it no. matter how sensible it is. It doesn't matter how realistic it is. Yeah, but it you matters can't. how it's perceived. Each one of us as an individual always has a plan B in our in the back of our head, judging, oh if I lose my job, if somebody dies, if I have you know, whatever the situation is, we've all got somewhere in the back of our mind a plan B. Well, that's a sensible way to look at it. I know, but it doesn't matter. If you concede to a plan B, basically you're saying that you can't have the best, the best plan because you've already described the best plan as sticking with us. But you can, come, you can do it. You, you can allude to a plan B without doing it. We're on the back foot. Yeah, yeah. We're on the back foot with this currency. Yeah, well, this whole idea we need it. The whole point is they need us. There was a, a hypothetical yeah, question sorry. asked to representatives of Moody's and Standard and & Poor that if Scotland... Uh, was an independent country, how would you rate its currency? Well, they wouldn't. Oh, oh, yeah, but they, they were saying that, no, well, that's hypothetical, we can't do this. And they were pushed, they were pushed, and they went AAA plus. Did they really? Did they that was that? representatives, that was on a programme. Program uh, yeah, they, they, they would look at it AAA plus. Um, well, certainly without a doubt, we've got resources, Sorry. natural resources, mineral resources. Well, if it's the best solution, why don't you do it, Mr. Salmon? That's the problem he's got. No, yeah. Yeah, the, the problem he's got, it's, a, it's not a practical question, 
Now, it's a political question. It becomes a practical question, should we get a yes or no? Okay. Well, let's, let's start by going to the scores and see if we can move on a bit here. We've still got a, another ten minutes to run anyway, if we're lucky. Um, we'll start with Phil this time, to start with the scoring. Joanna, she started off well, but then she kind of lost it, and I just really that, the shift the eye this week was really that bad, right from the start, up and down, you know, just welded onto this, it just looks so obvious. So I'll drop her down to, I'll give her a four this week, actually, yeah? Come on. Yeah. Um, Ruth Davis, yes, yeah, that's a good question. She was good today, um, and she was confident in the whole way she did it. Um, I'll, um, well, this is really, this is traumatic. This is traumatic. This is going to hurt, you know. Uh, I think I'll give Ruth a six today, just because just she was good. Yeah, I know, that's it. It's going to have to do it for the rest of the year, mate. Uh, Alex, um, yeah, no, I should I'll give Alex a seven. And what about the presiding officer? Presiding officer. Well, I was going to drop her this week, but she did give Patrick Harvey. Uh, I'll, give, I'll give her... Yeah, it was fun. She wasn't noticeable again, so I suppose... No, I'll give her six. I don't remember the desk banging, I don't remember... No, the was well Yeah, I'll give her six. Somebody should die every You want to add, uh, add an extra win for Jenny Mara or uh, Patrick Harvey, just as a bonus? Oh, uh, well, Jenny Mara wouldn't, because that was... No, no, I mean, it was... Patrick Harvey for... Well, for... Did he waste his question? Uh, way to look at it. He should have really known, I suppose, in the way Salmon was going to come, come at it. So yeah, I'm up middle of the road for him. I'll give him a five. Just, that's good. It's just as an aside to know. Yeah. Alex, um, I'll give. Uh, yeah, I'm, I can't say I'm over happy with today. I, you know, I give Alex seven. I give Ruth, Ruth Davidson seven, and I give John Lamont six. I don't think there was enough clear blue water mm. between them. I still, I, they've got to work, work much harder on this currency question. And Ruth Davison, certainly for the mm. first time in all the time we've been doing this, I think she scored a hit. Yeah. And he couldn't, he couldn't deal with her the way he usually deals with her. Um, so, you know, that's why I put her up as equal with him. I mean, I, I th it was an easy, she had, an, she had an, an open goal today. And normally she says something where he just, Eviscerates her because the Tories are always going to be doing worse than whatever criticism mm -hmm. she's making of him. The the currency question is the toughest subject they've got to deal with. They've got to do a lot more work on it, and she 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 did a better job, in my opinion, than Lamont did. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that. And it's, that's Can I just make a point on the currency question? You're saying it's the toughest question they have to deal with. Yeah. Times change and with them their demands. What that means is that the economic situation could be totally different in oh, years' time. It could, but, but, you've get, but you've got to get a vote on September the 14th. There's no point in telling people that. Uncertainty is the problem. No, but that's what I'm saying. The, 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 the UK economy could be in a real mess in a year's time. And no, oh, it could. It and could. the idea of having a separate, a separate currency becomes much more attractive. No, I, I, absolutely right. A reasonable right. guess. Well, absolutely right, but you know. George Osborne's showing his budget. To the Scottish government. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I'd say yeah, the only reason Patrick he Harvey? wants to be in this union to help um, pa pa to help England. Uh, Patrick Harvey. Uh, uh, Patrick Harvey for uh, asked a difficult question that I don't think Alex answered very well. So I've got to give him seven as well. He he only got one question. Um, he didn't get didn't get a comeback. Did he, he should have been smart enough to um, answer. Well, well, I if if he supports. If he supports yes, he shouldn't be asking that sort of yeah. question in public because he's a smart guy and he must recognise the difficulty of this. If he want, if he want, if he wants to pursue that question, he should be pursuing it. Well, in that's, private. that's quite yeah. an interesting. Well, it's an interesting he, issue. That he one. has been consistent. I mean, he's brought it up. On yeah. He has. Certainly. No, no, he's, he has been very consistent. But Alex, that. that's, that's an interesting question. The question of how much should the, the, the yes campaign and how much should the no campaign all be singing from the same hymn sheet? Well, if the, if they want the. If the yes look, if the yes, if the people who are participating in the yes campaign want to win the win the battle, they've they've got to keep their arguments in private. The no campaign have got a bigger problem because they're a coalition of, of three <laughs> parties who actually claim to be different from each other. Well, they're so slugs, they're banging away at each other over local elections. No, no, I, elections exactly. So, future. but but the yes campaign. That I don't. I don't think there's a lot of different. I mean, the Greens have very specific issues with everybody about the Green issues but the fact is Patrick Harvey is signed up as I understand it to the pursuit of green policy is more like Alex, let, me just, was Alex, let me throw this one in. 
There are a lot of people that won't vote yes because of Alex Salmond. He's Marmite, as we know. He's, uh -huh. yeah, he's yeah. Marmite. Yeah. And you need to have, you need to be able to turn around and say, well, it won't necessarily be, well, be Alex Salmond's policies that, that uh, the next, the first Scottish government will apply. No, I, I, that kind of, no, no, I, agree, with, I agree with that, but we're, we're talking about FMQs today, and in my, in my opinion, if, it, if Patrick Harvey wanted to make his point, he could have said, does the First Minister agree with me that uh, whatever the merits and otherwise of uh, continuing in Stirling, that having our own currency is, is a perfectly valid option, which when it comes to people voting yes, they will have the choice of electing a party at that point who can who can actually yeah, go in that direction. Point. You know, you could do that without attacking All right, fair enough. Scottish All right. government. Well, you're saying no, let's, let's, let's have, you, let's have yeah. your scores, mm -hmm. Um I thought Joanne did quite well today. I think we've kind of forgotten how much better she was. So I'm going to give her seven. Ruth Davison did well. Did well. Um, I disagree. I think he could have gone in harder. Um, yeah, he could have done, but he didn't. He made a lot, a lot better. Um, well, all she did was throw in quotes from pre-2008. So he had the opportunity to turn around and say, oh, well, actually, do you realise you're running an austerity programme? We've decided not to go to the Euro. You know, we all have to change our mind depending yeah, on... Yeah, he could have done that better. He could have made her look stupid. He could have done, but he didn't. They evolved it, but I'm going to give her seven. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Patrick Harvey... I agree with Alex. He asked a question that, from an opposition politician's point of view, was excellent because it put, really put Simon on the on the spot. Put yeah. Simon up. Yeah. However, as a yes supporter, I don't think there's any way he could have asked that question and used the words "own currency." That that weakened a weak position, as far as I'm concerned. So he did the yes campaign with failures. However, he has to, part of what Stuart said, he has to differentiate, differentiate the Greens from the SNP. And that's a way to do it. And he's consistent. I mean, this it's is, important that there is an alternative to the SNP. Well, it's policy for to the make, Greens. You've got to persuade a lot of don't knows. But as far as I know, um, uh, Scotland's own policy is policy. It's, it's seven for Joanne, I find, because, you know, especially when he inviscerated her about the, the fact that her, I mean, she's the leader, right? Uh, well, tell that to the end. Who just good, booted yeah. everything yeah, that she yeah. says no, into fine. into we're the thing. Anyway, we're, 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 we're waiting for, we're, we're getting a, we're getting the noise scores. We can Alex, be somewhere Alex Island, I, he did well against Joanne. He, I would call it a draw between him and Ruth, which is unusual. Yeah, that's what I said. But that was the, the quality of the question. Yeah, just kind of Patrick Harvey, I mean, he didn't have to give him a kick in. He just basically yeah, go on the spot, stuck a brick wall in front of him, and asked him to run into it. Yeah. So I think he won two out of three. But for Simon, he looked really good against Joanne, mm. and then kind of went backwards a bit. Got opportunities from the uh, constituency questions to to undermine aspects of it. I'm only going to give him a seven this week. Yeah. Um, presiding officer didn't have to do anything and did it well. Although yeah. she did look like she was going to burst into tears at the start. Right, well, she was quite upset. Yeah. 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 I give her a seven. I give her a question on Bob and Bailey. One thing that I, while well, it's in my head, I'd like to mention <laughs> the Joanne Lamont attack on Osborne. Yeah. Slippery. That's, that's a departure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a departure. Are good Labour, enough. Are Labour looking to but distance clear themselves? Pink water between them and the SNP. Distance themselves. Water between from, them and the Tories. Well, the Tories don't really show up as part of the Yes campaign. The money does. Well, oh, sorry, no, the No campaign. The mean. individuals. Sorry, as part of the No campaign. No, well, Alex consistently on most weeks has, has talked about the Tory Labour alliance, so I, I suspect her. Advisors have said you better get a dig in about Osborne um, because you know they're under a lot of criticism at the minute of criticizing Osborne but not actually coming up with any policy alternatives. So I think, to be frank, given we know everything she says is scripted, I think that was part of that. You better just have mm. a dig at the Tories. Have you got, have you maybe got, have you got a score for everybody yet, Donnie? Maybe she's taken on you, Stu. Right, well, look, um, I'd, I'd give Joanne 
an average score, to be honest. She's, she has got this glass ceiling of which she never goes beyond, and I think that's about an eight. Uh, I'll give her six. I thought Ruth did quite well, because all she had to do this week was the sensible thing, which was to scaremonger, yeah. which is what she did, yeah. and got away with it. So I'll give her a six, which is far more than I would normally give her. Um, Alex, well, I'd normally give him an eight, but as I said b before we started recording this, I did not, my immediate reaction to his avoiding the one question that Patrick Harvey got, who's got a lot of respect outside the political circles, is the one guy that seems to have a bit of credibility, and he didn't answer the question. He, he, he didn't have to, he just didn't answer the question, and I immediately took minus, wrote minus two, wrote it down. So I'm only going to give uh, Alex a, a six. Uh, Patrick Harvey, he could have written, he could, he, it was an important question because, oh, suddenly it's, it's almost, we all, we're all waiting for him to get, him and the independents to get at least as many questions regularly as the Lib Dems, and I don't think that happened, I think he was just a, a you know, a private member's question, because he only got one question, he didn't get to come back. Yeah. So if I give him a score, I give him a five. Presenting officer, didn't, every time you don't notice her, then you have to say she's worth a good score, so I'll give her a seven. Have I missed anybody out? No, that's you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting this week. Bash Garvey came out with 24. Considering he didn't get a secondary question, mm. that's not bad going. Presiding Officer 25, seldom seen, good. Ruth Davidson, 26. Mm. Joanne, well that surprises me. She was 23. I thought she would have been two or th th second or third this week. Alex nicks it by one. That's because I took minus, I'm penalised on two points 20, for... 27. Honestly, that's what will be in the papers. Alex, he didn't answer the one simple question. If she could just learn it's a simple, one question. simple question. It's not a simple answer. Come on, you must think about it. You must have been prepped for, for that question from somebody today. He should have had a better answer. I agree. I agree with that. There isn't an answer to it because he can't mention it. It's political. No, but there's got to be a better answer. To answer right. it in any way. Well, you wait and see what Co Coco says about it. Well, what, what you do is you don't mention it. You do not say the words. You say... Our report says that the best way to go is, so that's the way we're going. Anyway, it was a, it, it, although it, it was the a, question was asked. The question was asked, and we didn't answer it. Right. But say, so, just, just, well, can, can I just ask it. your indulgence a bit right now, now, now with Joanne? Right now, get quite hard because I get really irritated with that script. Now, how much do you think it would be worth their overall score if she just kept eye contact right across there at people and maybe just scan? But with this constant heat of like that, I'm um, sure that must be worth. If she could stop that, that'd be worth two. If she could memorise that script. No, I think much more important than that, she has to stop waffling. Because if she had asked the question Ruth Davidson asked, mm -hmm. the way Ruth Davidson had asked it, but that will never happen. She would have had a speech there, a question there, and a speech there. By the time she got to end of what she was saying, everybody would have been asleep. Mm -hmm. And she should start, she should give a few bits from there for a change. The just heart. So, she can't. From the heart. She can't. She just, she just doesn't Ed, see that. She can't. Ed Miliband will come up and kick her arse if she starts. Well, that's possibly true. Old, old, true Labour. So she, 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 she's, she's, the one. she's the Scottish leader. No, right? she isn't. Yeah, exactly. She's the Scottish leader. No, she but isn't. Ask the thug, we don't need to say who that Cheer is. Cheer tube, you and, mean. Yeah, cheer tube. Um, and all the other ones ran just like, they just right, dismiss he, her. Can I just point out to the listeners that Phil was touching his chest when he meant a heart and he was waving his hands in the air. But thanks everybody for uh, watching and listening. Because I'm hiding behind the computer. And uh, <laughs> thank you everybody for taking part.